Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to tell you all about the 2017 Sonic 210 VRD. This is one of my personal favorite lightweight couples coaches, especially if you like to entertain. But let's start off right up front here and then we'll make our way back. So power tongue jack right here, this really simplifies the process of connecting and disconnecting to the tow vehicle. Just touch of a button and that will go ahead, raise and lower the tongue. Also there's a light on here, so if you need to uh, see while you're connecting or disconnecting at night, you can go ahead and pop the light on as well. Right behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with a propane tank cover. Yeah, very easy to access the tanks, you can just undo these thumb, uh, thumb screws there, lift up the door and access right from the top. And then behind the cover are the rails for the battery. And then right here is diamond plating. Look how high the diamond plating comes up on this coach. I like that because you know sometimes the rocks get thrown up pretty high from your tow vehicle and this will make sure you will protect the front end. Speaking of the front end, if you see this of course is fiberglass, but the cool thing about the Sonic, this is one piece fiberglass from the front all the way up over the roof and down the back. That has a couple of unique advantages. One, it's not gonna have any seams going across the front and the back, which means less chance for any water penetration. Also, because the natural curve of the RV, the water's gonna run to the front and back, avoiding, the, uh, avoiding your campsite, and again, no seams there for that water to go into. So very cool, I love the one-piece construction. When we come around to this side here, you'll see the uh, baggage doors. A couple quick things. One, this does have a magnetic latch on here and it has a covered hinge so it's not going to rust all over. But it attaches nice and easily and if you take a look through there, you notice how big the pass-through is. Great storage. You can fit plenty of items in there. Also, if you notice, it's a slam latch. You don't have to mess with it. Just shut it. It latches the way it should. Uh, right up top here is a power awning. I love a power awning. Again, easy setup. Power tongue jack. Power awning. You don't want to waste your time setting up camp when you get there. You just want to, you know, detach. You want to take the awning, push a button, roll it out, be done with it. Perfect. It's exactly what this does. Also, there is an LED light strip in there, so if you do want LED lights, uh, you can go ahead and turn that on. You don't have to worry about hanging up your Christmas lights. Right underneath that are outside speakers. You want to, you know, listen to some music while you're sitting out here, you can certainly do that. Now, those are controlled by the multimedia center inside, however, it's Bluetooth capable. Meaning, if you have a smart phone or tablet, you can go ahead and connect to that via Bluetooth and control your music right from your device. If you're not a music person, you want to watch TV, that's not an issue either. Uh, right here is a satellite connection as well as your 120 outlets. You can set up a little table and go ahead and watch TV while you're sitting outside. Dual axle on this coach for great towability. Then as you make your way back a little bit further here, you'll see two steps to get in as well as your grab handle. Uh, cool thing about that, this is a low profile unit. So most manufacturers only put one step on here, putting the second one on there really makes it a lot easier to get in. And low profile is what, you're, is what you want. When you're towing something that's lightweight, this unit only weighs 4,000 pounds. You don't want anything that sits up way high because generally you'll be towing it with a, a smaller truck or a mid-size SUV. So you, you know, the lower it is to the ground, the better the towability you will get. Let's come around to the back side with me real quick. A couple things I want to point out over here. One, spare tire that's mounted on the bumper, you'll see it also comes with the cover. Hopefully you never have to use a spare tire, but if you do, it's always awesome to be able to have it right there. And the cover, of course, will protect it from the elements. Big window in the back right here, and when we go inside, you'll see why I love this. Uh, there's a huge uh, J-shaped lounge right around this back end, and having that window right there lets in a ton of natural light, and that's where everyone's gonna be hanging out and seated. Then on this side right over here, a couple quick things. This will be your satellite and cable inlets. This is a ZAMP solar uh, uh, package. So what it is, this unit's already pre-wired with the ZAMP solar system. All you would have to do to hook up solar to this coach is buy the panels, plugs right in there, and it will start trickle charging your battery. Let's come around to the off-door side. A couple last things I want to show you before we head in. One is right here, detachable power cord, 30 amp. I like the detachable power cords because there's not a big hole in the side of your RV where rodents, you know, and ants can crawl in there. Also right over here, uh, city water connection. This is your black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, what that is, is instead of having to take a dirty hose through your RV and putting it down the toilet to wash out your black tank when you're tearing down camp, the black tank flush eliminates all that. All you 
have to do is take a hose, hook it up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in. It'll wash it right out for you. And then last but not least, this is an outside shower. Uh, this does have both hot and cold access. The other thing I like about the location of this outside shower, if you notice right down here are your terminations. So not only can you use this to wash off your feet when you get back from the beach, but after you're done dumping, you can take the shower right here. It has hot water. You can go ahead and wash your hands right there. All right, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Sonic 210 VRD. As I mentioned, I love this floor plan. I think it's great uh, for a lightweight entertainment couples coach. And the main reason is right behind me. Take a look at this beautiful uh, J-shaped lounge here. It's awesome. You can sit a ton of people around here. You can entertain. You can have a meal together. Huge table right here in the center as well. Now, the table's uh, fairly versatile. You can have it uh, this way or you can turn it around like so, really however you want. And the other cool thing, you can drop this down and create a bed here as well. So not only is it a great seating space, it's also a sp uh, spot where people can stay the night. All along the edges here, you have electrical outlets, three in total. So everyone that needs to charge a cell phone can do that. In the back corner right there, you have uh, some cup holders, beautiful windows letting in a ton of natural light here as well. If you take a look up top, you'll see additional storage going all the way across the back here. And up along the roof, you have or, uh, the ceiling rather, you have LED lights, uh, which are great because if you don't have full hookup, the LED lights use a fraction of the power that your incandescent bulbs do, meaning you get more time and life out of the battery. Also, you'll see speakers here. So that way, if you're hanging out, you know, this is where you want the music to be playing. So they uh, located the speakers right here, which is perfect. Then right over here, if you want to watch some TV, that's not a problem. You'll see right up top are the TV hookups. You just mount that right on the wall. And then your multimedia center is right here. Uh, this controls the speakers outside as well as the speakers in here. And it is a radio CD and a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can go ahead and pop that in as well. Then take a look at this. Talk about awesome storage. That is super deep storage right there. You can use that for a pantry if you want, you know, or really whatever you want to put in there. But that's just a ton of space. Then across the way here is the kitchen and galley area. Um, I'll start, actually, I'll start over here. This is really cool. I don't want to miss this. They call this a tech box. It looks just like the side of the cabinet, but talk about great utilization of space. This swings open right here, two USB ports and your standard plug-in. So if you want to charge a cell phone, you can go ahead and plug your, or charge your cell phones there too and leave them up there, which helps, uh, you know, so helps in declutter the countertop. But taking along, or taking a look along the top row, you can see you have great storage right in there microwave right here and then additional storage right here so you can see that sink top cover right there so this unit does come with a sink top cover as well speaking of the sink we can take a look at that larger bowl on the left smaller bowl uh, bowl here on the right a high-rise faucet as well and you have your two burner cooktop the thing I like about this cooktop is it already comes with a cover so you have a cover here you have a cover here making this great prep space especially for a smaller camper this also lifts up which doubles as a backsplash. Speaking of backsplash, this right here, um, I like to talk about this because a lot of manufacturers just put up a wallpaper and it's really hard to clean. You know, if you get aggressive with it, it'll tear up. That won't happen. This is actually a panel, so this isn't going to fade down and you can clean this up nice and easy. Uh, also, right above your cooktop, you do have your fully functional hood there with a the light and a fan. Then take a look down below. You have a ton of storage down here as well. I'll open these up for you. You can see all the storage there that opens up I mean just phenomenal storage all around here and underneath the sink as well take a look at that two full extension drawers and then more storage right over here Last but not least is the fridge and freezer. Norcold fridge freezer. I like Norcold as a manufacturer. They're made right here in the U.S. Uh, you can see a ton of extra uh, or a ton of space in there. You have the crisper down below and extra storage. Look at that. How great is that? So, like I say, they did a great job of utilizing all the space in this coach. All right, let's head right into here. We'll take a look at the bathroom and then move on up into the bedroom. In the bathroom, you'll see the foot flush lever toilet with plenty of legroom. 
Right next to that is a huge cutout, which is perfect for a trash can. Big countertop space, your sink there, and storage underneath. Up above is a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that, LED lights, huge uh, vent right there. You can see a skylight as well, which gives you great head space, lets in a ton of natural light. Your hand wand, excellent shelving in the shower as well. And I love the door system in here. You'll see that it rolls in a track. That way all the water stays in the shower pan. The bedroom of the 210 features a queen bed. As I mentioned, this does lift up. You have huge storage underneath. Uh, you have the leather headboard there, two LED reading lights. Storage all along the top. This is strut supported, which is great. So you can just uh, get into it with one hand. Then on the sides, our uh, wardrobe space, great hanging space. Down below, uh, you have plug-ins. So if you have a CPAP machine, you can go ahead and plug that in. And on one side, we actually have a charging port. So you can go ahead and plug your cell phone into USB ports to charge. Also, right over here, you'll see a curtition. So if you do have additional guests that stay the night, you can go ahead and close this off. And right up top are the TV uh, inputs. So if you wanna put a TV in here, watch a show before bed, you can certainly do that as well. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 uh, Sonic 210 VRD in the black diamond interior. I personally love this coach. I think it's great at 4,000 pounds. It's nice and lightweight, easily towable by a midsize SUV. You have excellent space for entertaining, a ton of uh, kitchen prep space as well as storage. You know, it's really one you have to come out and check out. I think you'll like it too. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below. Or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you have particular questions on the specs of the unit, such as length, or if you're looking for the latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com, for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.